going on guys welcome back into another video and today's another ranking we're doing a ranking guys and y'all already know no time to die came out last weekend daniel craig is old, done as james bond went out with a bang really really enjoyed that film so with that being said today we are sitting down and ranking all five daniel craig james bond movies i have not seen all the other bonds and i was not going to get that done in time for this movie have seen all the Craig ones, though, and if, since it is his swan song, I thought it would be appropriate that we're going to rank his movies today. But I want you guys to go down below and let me know what is your favorite Daniel Craig James Bond movie. I think it's between three. I think there are two that people just don't like, uh, but let me know. I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think down below? And also, I'm, 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 we're back. I'm telling you again, this past Wednesday, two days ago when this video was going up, I episode four of my podcast fanatic film review was released with Sasha you guys know Sasha you love her she's freaking awesome uh we talked for over an hour about no time to die on my podcast we talked about what she liked what I liked what we didn't like and a lot of other really awesome uh questions as well the link's gonna be down below in the description go check it out rate review subscribe it really does mean the world I'm putting a lot of effort into this podcast comes out every wednesday if you've not listened to it already i have a lot of fun with it and i'm trying i want to get more guests on we're doing an episode a week every wednesday a new episode comes out talking about a movie from the week before so if you if you if that's something you're interested in if you want to hear what sasha has to say about no time to die i'm not sure if she's doing a review or not she said she might but i'm not sure if she doesn't if you want to hear her thoughts go to the podcast because you're not going to find it on youtube anywhere else so go to the podcast, go check it out. The links to be down in the description. But I think without further ado, let's get into this ranking. I'm not going to go very far in depth because some of the some of the stuff's kind of fuzzy to me. I do know that I dislike some of the movies, and I do know that I love some of the other ones, but I don't want to wear anything, so we're going to try to get through it the best we can. But coming in at number five, I think clearly is Quantum of Solace. I think it is the most forgettable movie. I think the villain is not very good. And I just think it's really lackluster. I think they're trying to do a lot. It just doesn't really work. And Craig takes a back seat in this one. It's not completely about him. When this is a James Bond movie, it should be about Bond. I think that it is extremely poorly done. It's just not a good movie at all. And I think that just everything about it just doesn't jive. I just don't think it's cohesive. I think the writing is extremely lackluster. And I really just don't like talking about it so i'm gonna kind of move on because there's other movies i want to talk about more quantum of solace by far my least favorite bond i'll have to give it a rewatch to see if that changes but for right now it comes in at number five on my list coming in at number four is specter i think everyone's got the same five and four but for me i actually enjoyed this one a little bit it's not great definitely not as good as the top three but it does have some redeeming factors. I did like some of the action. I think Craig is better in this one than he is in Quantum of Solace. And I I am someone that enjoys a story continuing on in, in, in movies as it goes. That's what's happened in Mission Impossible. You know, I love the MCU, Harry Potter, things like that. You have a continuous story going on over multiple movies. I really enjoy that. And that is here with Spectre. And it all kind of comes to a T here. This is what people thought for a long time to be Craig's finale because he takes on Spectre and 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 Blofeld and it, it just it, it it's it's fun it, it is now I think it's extremely poorly written I don't think that it's technically that great of a movie there are things I like about it that are fun but it's not great Sam Mendes I think does some pretty good direction but it is what it be. It is a Bond movie that I enjoy for what it is, but subjectively, it's not that great of a film. And it comes in at number four on my list. Coming in at number three, I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a lot of people mad because a lot of people. This is their number one. Is Casino Royale. I will make it clear though that there is a large gap between the bottom two and the top three. The top three, I think, are upper echelon in general, and. The bottom two are not great at all. So I will say that. Casino Royale, No Time to Die, and Skyfall, those three are all really, really good. And they're very close. It was very hard ranking those top three. But Casino Royale is fantastic. You have an incredible villain in Mads Mikkelsen. You've got one of the best scenes in the poker scene in a in a Bond movie. And it's it's a really awesome beginning to Daniel Craig's Bond. 
you know, he, he and, and I really liked to see his character arc throughout all the movies, but it, it is, that is probably the, the, the closest to classic Bond uh, of any of them. And I really, really enjoyed that about it. Now, I, I do also like the grounded nature of some of the later ones, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this one, it, it really did did work for me, and I really enjoyed it. Again, it, it all goes back to Mickelson and Craig, first off, as, with their fantastic performances. And then you've got some of the amazing sequences. I mean, the crane sequence. Come on. It's incredible. It's just so good. And then you've got the poker sequence which which is what this movie revolves around and for it to work as well as it did it takes it takes some it takes some work and i think that i've never been more interested in poker in my life or whatever i forget what they're i think they're playing poker or blackjack I, whatever a game of poker um but they made poker tense and it, it was incredible i really really enjoyed this one it comes at number three on my list Coming at number two, couldn't put it at number one, but at number two is No Time to Die. I think that, and you guys go check out my review that went up on Monday. I think that the thing that this film does extremely well is it is the perfect send off for Daniel Craig's Bond. It's, 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 it, I think it's perfectly, like, I do not think that there's anything wrong with how they wrote Bond in this film. It examines the humanity of this character who people see as an immortal character who cannot die, who cannot be harmed. He will always come out of it. And he is a suave, smooth, womanized, like this hum made Bond human. And it talked, it, it really harkened to his humanity. And I loved that. You get incredible action, really awesome direction of cinematography, a, 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 an amazing performance. I'm going to call it a cameo because she's barely in it. Amazing performance from Anna Darmas, who is just incredible. And a beautiful ending and send off for the bond that a lot of us grew up with and know and love. It was really extremely well done. I loved this one. I gave it four and a half out of five stars, 92 out of 100. It is peak James Bond. It is incredible what what they are able to accomplish with this film obviously there are some things i don't love about it went more in depth on both the podcast and my review that went up on monday but there's no doubt and i think a lot of people believe this as well that it's a really well done film it really is i enjoyed it immensely and it comes in at number two on my list but you already know then coming in at number one is skyfall i just I gave this film five out of five stars, which means I gave it an average rating of 95 or higher. It's just the best one. I think the action in it is, is, is incredible. I think the stakes are the highest that they have been uh, in the Bond franchise. The stakes obviously get high in No Time to Die, but the stakes in this one are the highest. And I think it's the one that is, is the most, uh, I want to say intimate, but also big, if that makes sense. Javier Bardem is incredible as the villain. He's just outstanding. And it all goes back to stakes. The stakes are there. It's incredibly well written. The The direction is perfect. It's just, it, I don't want to say it's a perfect movie because it's not. Every movie has flaws. But it is by far the best Bond movie. It is by far my favorite. And it's, it's, it's just, as a film, extremely, extremely well done. I don't really have anything wrong with it. Again, gave it five out of five stars. This one is special. It really is. It, they hit lightning in a bottle with this one and just made such an incredible film. I truly enjoy this. And it's my favorite Daniel Craig Bond movie. So, number five is Quantum of Solace. Number four is Spectre. Three is Casino Royale. Two is No Time to Die. And one is Skyfall. Let me know down below, guys, in the comments once again. What is your favorite Daniel Craig James Bond? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have not already, please consider subscribing. It does mean the absolute world. I'm doing at least two videos a week for you guys, doing a review and some other video around that as well. I'm very excited. we got a stacked lineup of films coming out. I mean, Dune is coming out in two weeks. I'm incredibly excited for it. You guys are going to get a lot of content around that. And the podcast go check out the podcast rate review subscribe please it means the absolute world i'm trying to grow it i've never done podcasts before so i'm really trying to make it special and we got a great episode with sasha where we talked over an hour about no time to die so if you drive you're going on a road trip or anything 
pop it on hear us talk about no time to die in more depth i really do appreciate it but guys that's pretty much it i want to thank you all so much for watching have a rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video